Hey everybody, you already know what it is. X and Mix here, and we're back with another one. So for this one, as you can tell by the title, that's right, IP6 Murdoch. Why not? They actually gave him some good skills, which was either chip out, Fox's split screen, and rebound shot. So for me, what I picked was I picked rebound shot. I think this uh, P6 is going to be really good for Murdoch, especially... You know, it's probably going to bring him back into the meta because a lot of people don't really use him. But now that he has catch and shot, well, catch and shoot, it basically makes him pretty good. Especially even with chip out and split screen. So honestly, all three of those are really good. It just honestly depends on how you built your Murdoch, basically. Like, catch and shoot could be good and debatable. Like, I did miss it a lot when I was playing around with him. Just because, uh, we'll pause first of all, but yeah, just because of his mid-range shot is kind of low to begin with, especially with his three. But, I mean, if you P6 him, you know, you can level up some three-point, you can level up some jump shot block, you can level up a bunch of stuff. But for me, I leveled up three, because you already know I like to shoot with my Murdoch. I also got some good cards with him as the update came out. You know, I put some cards into him. I used some of the Battle Pass Platinum Packs into him. So I got some really decent cards with him. There will be a build soon. If there's also a build of any other characters you guys want to see, let me know. I can make that happen. But also, I picked the uh, Catch and Shoot because, you know, it's a really good thing to have. It's fun to use, especially when you miss a shot and you can get the rebound again and shoot it back in. It's pretty satisfying, I'm not going to lie. But other than that, I didn't really, like go for like chip out because I already have my PFs basically their P buffs is basically the rebound so I know Murdoch has a low rebound but that P buff stuff kind of makes up for it I also have an ice cream rebound card which you guys will see in the build but if you guys feel like your Murdoch isn't really getting the rebound go for chip out it's a really good thing to use Williams is probably by far the strongest one in the game and that's not even including all the new chip outs that the other PFs have but other than chip out if you guys are really looking for you know to be a big and help out your SGs or point guards or SF score get split screen it's one of the best screens in the game because you know you get the screen you dash out you can dash towards the paint while your man basically pause the guy guarding you goes to pick up on that screen because the person's wide open, so the big has to go pick up. You just dash right in towards the middle. Get an easy lay. Get an easy dunk. That's what I'm saying. Or you can even set screens to help your whatever it is who's scoring score threes. It's pretty good. So other than that, honestly, all three of those skills are really good. And it's been a while since 3-on-3 kind of dropped the character that had actually good P6 skills. And if you want to make Murdoch even better, you could even P7 him. Level up his mid-range. Level up more of his jump shot block. Level up more of his threes. Which, you know, if you get around the 100 or 90, I think he's all set right there. Because I got that with, I don't even have, like, decent three cards. But he kind of was missing in the beginning, so I'm not going to say, like, he's a crazy shooter. But when I get that 10% platinum card for him, you know, I turned him into a shooter. He's really good with it. And before, my Murdoch would brick a lot of shots because I was using it before. You know, I did a couple of games without that card. And I did a couple of games with that card after I got it. And there's a huge difference in it. Because it is a whole 10% and my Murdoch only had like two 6.8s and then a 3 and a 4% for the pizzas. And he was still bricking around like 80%. But now, he's in the nice 99s. We got a good spot for him. He's shooting, he's doing his thing. But let's get into the outfits. So everyone knows, I do like outfits that have an L2 emote. And sadly, Murdoch's outfit don't have one. Pretty crazy. The outfit's okay. I don't know why they turned him to a cowboy, especially with Mika. It should have been like a Murdoch and Sydney, Because they're basically two bandmates, if you look into the lore with that. They're based off two actual people. But other than that, I think the outfit's mid. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to cap. I don't like the whole cowboy thing. I don't know if other people do. But at least give it an L2 emote. And they didn't do that either. So, you know. But other than that, I had a style up Murdoch on my own. 
gave him my own outfit, gave him an own look. I think it looks pretty fresh. So other than that, if you do have the extra, you know, the intense manuals, I think Murdoch might be a really good P7 character. And I'm saying this just because, you know, I think he'll be really viable, especially with all those extra stats that you can put when you P7 a character. It's basically the same amount as a P6. You also level up more of his overall stats just to make him more, you know, a versatile character. But other than that, let's stop yapping about Murdoch. You know, I, every time a new character comes out or a new P6 or a new P7 comes out for a character, I usually talk about it for a little bit. And the only reason why I did P7 Janessa is because I did pull two point guard intense manuals out of the intense book. But I wouldn't go for those anymore, to be honest, because before it used to be a whole 1%. For that new, like, character that came out for, like, their role. It used to be 1% to get the book, and you would get that often, but now it's 0.1%. So that's a huge difference. That's not even a whole hole, if that makes any sense. I know people would understand that, but yeah, don't go for those intense book things. Because they're not a full 1% like they used to be. So it's going to be harder to get those books. But if you do have extra, if you do have a lot, peace having them, trust me. He will be a really good character, especially with those extra skills as well, and he'll just come out on top. But other than that, let's stop the yapping, let's just get back into this game. So right now, as you can see, the whole first half, I was cooking with Murdoch, getting the open lane, cooking their player. So now we're into the second half. I'm using Jason, we got Murdoch. We also got a Janessa. So as the first half, these two teammates are fighting with each other, one's trying to give up. One's trying to not. They're not even that far behind. And as you can tell, they're cooking. They get a Chloe. They get a Walker. They get Oxwing. They get all shooters. So if one of us leaves them slack, leaves them a little open, they'll shoot right on us. Easily get the come up. Because it is 29 to 22 now. And anything can happen. They can easily come back. We're only going for two. So if they're doing threes, they can come back easily. But for this match, I know I didn't say it in the beginning. I am solo queued. Sometimes I pay the price for it, sometimes I don't, especially if I'm versing like two people that are really good. And it's a close game and they start getting toxic just because they're winning by a little bit and they know you got bad teammates. And sometimes there's not much you can do or sometimes there's not anything you can do. But I'm going to go on with that nice dunk. None of them even jumping. I don't know why, but now the score is 33 to 25 with a minute left. I don't know what this Ox Queen is doing, but... It ain't eight. No dashes, no nothing. Trying to get it with that. Pass it to the other teammate. Gets a nice three. And now they're only down by five. Just like that, they easily caught it up. But that's because, as you can tell, we're just going for twos. And they're going for threes. It's an easy way to come back. I've said it in a lot of previous videos. If you're going to go for twos, you need the defense. And the fact that they're all shooters is really going to impact us too. Because, as you can see... We get a pick up on every one, especially when someone makes a mistake on a team. We get a pick up on it. And it also looks like they're kind of still fighting as well. But I'm going to go in. Oh, watch this. Ooh, got him. He thought I was going to shoot. Psych. Look at that. So for some reason, that Murdoch and that Chloe kind of hate each other right now. But I got to step up and help the Murdoch with it. And that's going to leave the Oxman wide open. But I have to do it. Because this Walker... And the Chloe's going to be cooking. But I don't know what went on right there. I do the same mistake too, Walker. Don't worry about it. I do it all the time with Kim. I accidentally hit that fade when I really don't want it. But now it's going to be 40 to 31. With around 20 seconds left. There ain't no way they can come back. And I'm Murdoch trying to sleep on the person he needs to be guarding. Especially in a crucial time like this when it's neck and neck. And it can happen. So it's 20 seconds left. I'm going to do some dribbling. Chloe's going to step in. Murdoch with that nice catch though. Off the seal. Janessa gonna fade. Nope. Janessa going in with a trap card of her own. Now the score is gonna be 42 to 34. With only 10 seconds left. This should be it. We should have this one in the bag. Nope. Oxween finally doing some dashes. And I'm surprised that Chloe's getting all these quick jumpers onto Janessa. You ain't got a fingertip block or something? But that's alright. I'm gonna shoot the half court for the end of the game. It's already over. So the final score is going to be 42 to 37. I'm pretty sure I get MVP with Murdoch cooking it up in the paint. Getting all those dunks. Boom, but there it is. I was right. Murdoch with the MVP. Cooking it up.
with the new fit. Let me know what you guys think about it. That's a terrible highlight camera, but we're going to end things off with 24 points, 11 out of 13, 6 assists, 6 rebounds, and hope you guys enjoyed this one, and you already know what it is. We will. See you on the next one. Peace out, and have a good day or night.